Greetings and salutations, everybody. My name is Klautos, and uh, welcome to my world called Fantasia. This is a, a world where I'm building uh, an epic medieval fantasy world with like kingdoms for orcs and goblins and elves and like all kinds of cool stuff. So we're here in the Goblin Kingdom, um, but uh, today is more of a tutorial, okay? Uh, so I posted a link or not a link, but a, a video of, of my grass texture on, uh, on Twitter and uh, images and stuff like that. And B00 suggested that I make a tutorial on how I made grass blocks like this. If you look at them, they're very fluffy. They're fluffy grass, okay? There's, a, there's an actual layer or several layers of extra pixels on top floating above the grass block. So I actually had to go in and alter the model of the grass block in order to achieve that. It's the same, it's the same technique that Monsterfish used uh, when he created the Conquest texture pack. And I actually, I asked him about it because uh, I was trying to figure out how to do this. I couldn't figure it out. I was messing with the, with the, uh, the code, the JSON file code, and, and it was, uh, don't do that. Don't do that. There's a much better way. <laughs> so, uh, so he pointed me in the right direction. So uh, yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is come to blockbench.net, okay, and download Blockbench. Now, I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to install it. I assume that your computer is savvy enough to install a program if you're trying to make a texture pack. So, <laughs> yeah, install Blockbench. Uh, you could go and edit the JSON code, which is what I tried to do initially, and it was so time-consuming and tedious and just don't do it. <laughs> download Blockbench because it's a graphic representation of the block and it'll just make the code for you. So uh, yeah, download Blockbench, install it. And then the next thing we're going to want to do is go into our image editor and create the textures. All right, so here we are in Photoshop. This is my image editor of choice, but you can use a whole bunch of different ones. It really doesn't matter as long as it supports transparent um, uh, transparent uh, uh, bleh, texture, transparent image files. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so we want to create five files for uh, for the grass block. So I'm going to go ahead and just load in the ones that I've made already. Uh, and I'll show you guys what they are. OK, so the five files are grass side, grass side overlay, grass top, Grass top float, and you can call that whatever you want. Okay, this is the extra layer of pixels. And then grass top float edges. Okay, uh, first thing I want to do is uh, control zero to maximize the image so you can see every pixel clearly. And that's very important when you're making textures, as you guys probably know. Um, so it's, it's very important that when you make these textures, you, all, you make the dimensions multiples of eight. OK, so I'm making a 32 bit texture pack. So this is 32 by 32. So the grass side is basically going to be dirt. OK, uh, and then the grass side overlay is the grassy part that hangs over the edge. Now, you want this to be in a grayscale. All your grass textures need to be in a grayscale. The reason why we do that is because we are going to apply a, a text or a text, a tint index, so that when the game loads up this texture, it knows what shade of green to make the grass in, uh, depending on what biome you're in, okay? Uh, so, uh, yeah, so we have grass side overlay. This is what hangs over the block. Uh, we have grass top. This is your generic grass top. Grass float. This is the first one that floats above the block itself. And then this one is for the edges. OK, so you want your grass top float to look something like this. 32 by 32 or 16 by 16. We're really only going to use the middle of it, though, in the in the uh, 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 block bench. And I'll explain why when we get there for the float. This is for the edges, the bits of grass that you want to hang over the edge of the block. OK, so when you make this one, make it, you know, the full scale of your block. In my case, it's 32 by 32. And I'm only drawing the grass in over the bottom half. OK. So once you have these created, you want to save them into the uh, Minecraft textures folder. 
Okay, once you're in Blockbench, you're gonna have something like this. You have a little bit of a grid, okay? First thing we wanna do is import the textures that we just created. Now, you guys can't see these, uh, these windows here because I'm using the built-in game DVR for Windows because for some reason OBS is just being dumb and I can't get it to work. So, uh, bear with me and let me get them loaded in here real quick. If I can find them, they are in the go to go to your resource pack folder, then assets, then Minecraft, then textures, then blocks. That's the folder you should have saved them in. So grass side, grass side overlay, grass top, grass or grass top float and grass top float edges. OK, and there they are. So now what we want to do is create a cube. All right. Now, even though I'm creating a 32-bit uh, texture pack, we can still make this 16 by 16 by 16. So let's go ahead and do that. 16, boom, and there's our block. Now the first thing we wanna do is take our grass side and apply it to all the sides, north, south, east, and west, as well as the downside, which is what they call this bottom one. Okay, so downside, we wanna have that as well. It's also very important that you take this upside and put the, uh, put the grass top there. OK, don't make that the same because that's where the grass is going to be. <laughs> now, next thing we do is we want to create another cube. Now, this cube is for our overlays. OK, so let's go ahead and turn that one off. Uh, now, the cube for the overlays, we can we're going to make it the exact same. OK, so 16. And where is it? Yeah, 16. And 16. OK, so it's exactly the same. What we're going to do is we're going to put our overlays on the north, south, east and west. But we're not going to put it on the top or the bottom. And uh, we want to make sure that the bottom face, or the down face, as it's called, go over here and hit transparent face. Okay? That means it'll, it'll render nothing. Do the same thing on the up face as well. Okay? Transparent. So all we have here is that. Okay? So then if we bring in the rest of the cube, we have our grass block. Now make sure that all your grass textures are in grayscale. Uh, that way, when we apply the tint index, like, uh, let's see, where are we? I should rename this, shouldn't I? Yeah. Let's rename this. Double click on it. Overlay. Okay. So you want to go to all these faces. Okay. So we're going to go to the over, oops, overlay, north face, and you want to tick this box for tint. Boom. Tint. And that means that Minecraft will apply the tint index based on whatever biome you're in. So any any face that is a grass texture, you're going to want to make sure you have this tint uh, applied. OK, now, if you don't have this little tint box here in your menu, just hit here on the toolbar, go to customize and you'll find it down here. And then you can just click on it and it'll bump it up to here. You also want to apply the call face. OK, and we'll talk about this here in a little bit. The call face is going to be down here as well. It's these three bars. And then what that is, is it ends up being this here and you can call whatever face of it you want. And what that is basically means that if there's a block above it, then it will not render this plane. OK, it's the reason why when you when you're in spectator mode and you fly underground, you can actually see through all those blocks. OK, that's what call face effectively does. OK, so now that we have our basic grass texture, now this is this is your your generic grass texture. Uh, but we want to make it better. We want to make it cooler. So we're going to create another cube. Now, this one is actually not going to be a cube, but it's going to be, you know what, let's, let's slide it out a little bit. Uh, this is actually not going to be a cube, but it's going to be a plane. So what we want to do is double click and you'll see that the, this turns into squares. We want to crush it down to just be a plane. Okay. Double click again and we are going to move it up. Okay. And we're going to move it up above the block. Now, it's very important that when you do this, you don't make these go any higher than 1 16th of a block, because then if you put a carpet down or something in the game, these little grass bits will pop up uh, through it. So uh, it's one thing to consider when you do that. So now we're going to double click again and we're going to shape it like this. And what we want it to be is we want it to be uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Yeah, we want it to be. Hold on. Yeah. This is going to be uh, eight. Because remember, we want everything to have multiples of eight, eight by 16. OK, so that is the that is the thing. Now go to the downside and make sure that your downside is transparent. 
right here. So click that. Otherwise, this is going to render in as a black thing and it's just it looks really weird. So make sure that's transparent. Then we're going to take our grass top float and we're going to apply it right there. Now you'll notice that right off the bat, it's uh, it's in the wrong orientation. It should be coming out this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it once 90 degrees and hey, hey, why didn't it work? Rotate. Do I not? Oh, I'm on the downside still. That's why. Go to up. <laughs> Rotate it once. 90 degrees. Or is it twice? Yeah, twice. Boom. Right there. Uh, just get it get it in the right place. And then this is your your uh, your UV. This this uh, tells the game where uh, the texture is going to occupy. And you want it to be multiples of eight. Otherwise, the game glitches out and it doubles up on the pixels and it makes it look really weird and fat and just... I, I, it's. Very strange. <laughs> so, um, so once you have that, go ahead and double click on that, get it back into the move mode and slide it back. Now I wanted mine to only pop out uh, three blocks. So I had it like that. I, oh, wait, no, it's too much. Why is it doing two? Should only do one. That's, oh, two, yeah, that's why. So if we go here, one, two, we want this to be one and a half. Okay, because I'm a 32-bit texture pack, so it's weird. Uh, you guys won't have to probably worry about that if you're doing... Uh... Oh, why isn't it? There we go. Yeah, that's it. That's how I want it right there. Okay, boom. Just like that. And now we have our floating grass. So uh, we're going to actually have four of these going around the sides. Uh, before we do the other three, though, we're going to need one for the center. Okay, so we're going to take this, make another cube. We're going to crunch it down to be just a plane. Double-click again. Oh, wait, no. Nope. We're going to stretch it out. We want this to be uh, uh, 8 by 8, just like that, okay? And this is going to be our center, uh, center bit, right? We're going to take this, slide it over, and get it right there in the center, center of the block. And I think that's a little off. Yeah, right there. Uh, and then we want to go to the down face. We're going to make it transparent. And then we're going to go to our grass top float. And we're going to drag it on there. Okay. And now once that is there, we're going to take our UI and put it right in the middle there. Okay. Right in the middle. So it's not going to render in this outside. The reason why we don't render in that outside is because these bits here, if there's a grass block next to it and you have multiple pixels occupying the exact same space, then it ends up flickering and being glitchy and stuff like that. So what we want to do is actually change the height of some of these. OK, so we're going to hold down control and just slide it down ever so slightly so that they occupy two different planes. See if we highlight them both. Where are we at? Yeah, if we highlight them both. We can see that they're on they're on two two different planes. That way there won't be any flickering and stuff. So let me go ahead and load in the block that I made when I finished. And uh, let's see where are we at. Open model, and I'll show you guys. You guys can't see this window. I apologize for that. Um, and I'll show you guys what I came up with in the end. And here's what I came up with. And as you can see, we have uh, we made four of these down here. Let me highlight all the planes, so you can see all the planes. Now I learned this trick from Monsterfish. He's the one who who uh, sort of told me to go check out Block Bench if I want to do the grass like like he did in Conquest. And uh, so, yeah, the trick is to uh, stagger them on different layers. That way, when you have multiple grass blocks next to each other, there's, there's no flickering or anything like that. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then when we get back into the game, we have this lovely, lovely grass here looking nice and fluffy. And I just love it so much. I, I need to redo my overlays. If you notice, these are different than the ones I, I had uh, than the ones you guys you saw the than the ones you guys saw in grayscale. Sorry, I can't talk. Uh, that's because in my texture pack I use a, uh, uh, a here. Look, if I get rid of that, you see how they're different. I need to redo these. By the way, I don't really. I'm not really happy with them. But uh, yeah, that, that's a that's a different thing. I might make a tutorial on that if you guys are interested in how to have different textures like that. It's called a repeat pattern. Uh, so I have three of them all together that that are all different. Uh, but that that's a different thing. So anyway, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoy the tutorial, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. Uh, share the video with your friends and uh, make some cool stuff, huh? 
<laughs> if you'd like to support me in the construction of this texture pack for my Fantasia series, I'd greatly appreciate it. Head on over to Patreon. And uh, if you sign up, then you will have access to an in-development version of this pack, and I'll provide regular updates as more and more things are created. So that's going to be it for this video, you guys. Thank you very much for stopping by. And until next time, be excellent to each other and farewell.